Well, 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 welcome everybody to Dead Water Saloon. Dive into the Wild West as a saloon owner in a volatile frontier town. Customize your character in the fa and face consequences of your choices as you forge friendships and enemies of townsfolk, travelers, outlaws, and lawmen. Build the most famous saloon in the territory or be overwhelmed and destroyed. Welcome everybody, this is Dead Water Saloon, an upcoming, I guess you could say, tycoon management type game. Um, planned to be released in summer of 2022. Um, yeah, this is created, or sorry, this is developed by Creative Storm Entertainment and published by Creative Forge Games, Playway SA. Very a big fan of Playway SA. You guys know that here on the channel. This was recommended to me in the, um, into the, uh, Discord, which I'm so for, and I can't freaking see because I can't read. Give me a sec. Oh my god. All right, yeah, so this was, um... This was recommended to me in the Discord. Um, I wanted it, you know, I had it on my wish list for a while too as well. Hi, how you doing? So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this. If you guys want to see this become a series when the game is released, uh, let me know by hitting the like button, commenting down below, um, and all that good stuff. This is a let's look at, so uh, here we go. Let's get it. So what do we want to do? Wow, there's a lot of things going on here. Was not expecting this. Hey, There's no music, which is kind of like weird. We could be Janky Davis, Tobias Smith. We could be male or female. <laughs> okay, let's pick a portrait out first. Oh my God, look at this guy. All right, look at that guy. All right, so let's see here. Let's pick out a portrait. Which best resembles me? I Honestly, the closest thing is like the guy with the glasses. <laughs> I say glasses, but it's a monocule, right? I think that's what they're called. Uh, what is this health and attribute points interesting so we can start out with 100 health and 20 attribute points or we can start out with like 80 health 40 attribute points interesting let's go 80 health and 40 attribute points just as you know spice it up what is going to be my name you already know cans who could possibly be alone where are you from i'm not from pale ridge that's an insult williams range nope freedom vale Bitter Veil, vale. Dead Man's Glen. Is that what that says? Dead Man's Glen? Glen! Last Kate, Serpent's Butte, Bitter Veil, vale. Fair Chapel, Prospectors. Yo. Prospectors. Boot. I like it. Wait a sec. Is that the name where we're from, right? <laughs> this is the name of our saloon Firewater, the White Elephant. Uh, buckhorn. Let's actually do the, um, the, oh God, let's do the golden horseshoe. The golden horseshoe. That is a reference. If you know, that out to you. All right. So what are we going to be? Handsome, calm, captivating, compassionate, devious, analytic, or daring. Handsome, having gotten by your entire life on good looks and charm and wealth, your admire or wealth, a wealthy admirer. Grants you title to a saloon. I, I don't like that already. Calm. Having traveled far and wide as a cook alongside one of the most famous bounty hunters in the West, you decide to settle down at last and invest in a newly built saloon. The Wild West, after all, is in need of a well-managed outfit. So sneakiness goes up and cooking goes up. I kind of like that, but I'm not really much more of like the cooking type. What about analytic here? I am analytic. Realize. So your father, a wealthy businessman, that does not fit my description at all, with tremendous success in the stock market, had brought you under his wing to mentor you as his apprentice. As a sign of his appreciation, both you, uh, both for your hard work and your aptitude, he purchased a saloon at West for, your ma for you to manifest your own dynasty. Like, I love the finance game here, but I, no. No, no, no. That's not my backstory either. Daring. As a strong cowhen known for your lucky streak. Already clicking off that. Devious. Serving drinks as a barkeep. Compassionate. Keeping up with family tradition both in faith and career. You served as a medical officer on the front lines of the Civil War. Now relieved of duty, you decide to live a simpler life, taking purchase of a saloon in a newly established settlement. Theology and medicine. <sighs> Captivating leadership and drama, cooking and sneakiness. I I I, I do kind of like that. What is seduction and savior fay fair? Seduction. 
I mean, come on. Come on. You know, I mean, the guy. Can he seduce? Maybe. I kind of like this. Having traveled far and wide as a cook. It, I, I'm not a cook, but I do like kind of traveling far and wide. Decide to settle down. Invest in a newly built saloon. I kind of think, and like, to be honest, I'm a sneaky little bastard. So I, I think this works out for me. We're going to go this way. So we have 40 points to, to, to use here. Abstraction. Does this give any, like, oh, it does give a description. Abstraction. Used in events and townspeople interactions. Contributes to investigation success rules. Research time as well. So kind of like an intelligence thing, yeah? Gambling. Used in events and townspeople interaction. Contributes to entice success in gambling revenue increased. Not bad. Oh, what is this? Li li oh, you son of a gun. Li Lydia, li Lydian, Lydia Janice. Oh! Used in events and townspeople contribute to sue success and business purchases cost decreased. Yeah. Muscle, sneakiness. So with the sneakiness, contributes to robbery success in town suspicion decrease. I kind of like that. Now cooking. Contributes to the saloon cooking rat, uh, rating. Food revenue increase. I do like that. Uh, contributes to blackmail success in supply purchase costs. Hmm, might get into that. Medicine. Ooh, save your fare. Contributes to the befriend success. Contributes to saloon refinement rating. And non-supply costs decrease. That is not bad either. Mixology. Seduction. Contributes to romance. Brothel revenue. Good God almighty. Leadership. Contributes to saloon. Okay, so there, there's a few things here. I want to go probably 10 in finance. Blackmail and supply purchases. Um, what was leadership again? Leadership contributes to the saloon services rating. Upkeep costs decrease. I kind of like the upkeep costs being decreased. I do like that. Contributes to dual success. I guess if I needed to get into a duel, I don't even know. But... It also contributes to the saloon service rating. So let's actually get that up there too. And then we have 20 more points that we could use. Seducing, like maybe. Mixology contributes to allow alcohol revenue. I mean, we run a, sal a salon. <laughs> we run a saloon. We want to get our alcohol revenue up there, right? And I think I'm going to go for this one that I can't even pronounce. Business purchases cost decrease with a contribute to sue somebody, I guess. Hopefully that's the type of sue that I'm thinking of. Because that'd be hilarious. Right, so that's what we're gonna do. Profits. Um, well, I want everything to be normal. I guess it's like normal. Suspicion, normal. Stress, normal. Town, normal. Everything just by default, and let's start the game. How far are we into this? Eight minutes. We finally started the game. Welcome to Deadwater Saloon. So far, with like the stats, the background, the character creation, high hopes. Um, um, don't let me down. Don't let me down. That's all I gotta say. All right, so a new beginning. You are dropped off by a wagon in front of a large red building in the middle of nowhere. Walking inside, you breathe in the musty smell, and my God, the music is loud. And wonder who, wonder who is more insane, the man who put up such a large structure in the middle of nowhere, or the one who will manage it? There are a few good things going for this place, however. A well-packed road passes right outside your building, and a newly constructed railroad track also runs nearby. There's even a well with fresh water just a few paces away. Perhaps this could be the spot of a booming town one day. With a bustling main street and a train station bringing in supplies and travelers, and maybe, just maybe, you and your saloon will survive long enough to see what actually happens. So welcome to the Deadwater Saloon tutorial. Here we'll be doing a brief introduction into the game and its mechanics. Note that when the tutorial has finished, there will be additional pop-ups that will occasionally happen from time to time. Okay, cool. Um, I dig it. I dig it. First, you can move, right? We can do that and we can zoom in and we can do all that. Finally, rotate, Q and E, right? Above, hang on a sec. You know what? Uh, first things first, in a very obvious world, move the forehead. There you go. Move the forehead. And actually, you know, move the forehead, but also um, <laughs> flip the forehead. There we go. <laughs> Above, you will find your personal stats. Your health, stress, action points, and town opinion are all very important things to monitor. So health, um, town, town opinion, I might be the shaking of the hands, maybe. In particular, monitor your health and stress. As both, what is the stress? Oh, this one's probably the stress right here, the brain there, or the forehead. 
um, as well as both. Okay, we can we can, we can do that. So above you will find your saloon stats, your total cash, daily profit slash loss, saloon capacity, and saloon uh, storage. With all or will all give you hints with regards to what you build in the next and how to manage your saloon. Manage your cash carefully, especially early on, until you start getting enough customers to sustain your operation. To the side here, you will find your booze and food inventory. Booze and food can be purchased in crates of 200 from local businesses as they are built in your town. You will need to wait a few hours for a trapper to come to your town before purchasing any booze or food, though. Over here are your saloon ratings. Your overall saloon rating is scored by the following subsections, fame, refinement, entertainment, services, drinks, food, and muscle. Your overall saloon rating helps determine the chance of a customer deciding to frequent your saloon or not. Dude, so far, all of this, this is so cool. And we haven't even got into it. This is your build panel. Here you can see your view toggle button, your floor toggle button, and your build button. Edit button, erase button, and customer access button. This is your view toggle. Click this, all right. Ah, we can see inside. It's very dark right now, but I'm sure things will change. Hey, music, just like half a second that down just just a bit <laughs> very good this is your build button so let's build something okay let's build something oh my god you can see items available to build below we suggest building a barrel or a trunk to increase your storage but you can choose to build whatever you would like so a barrel or a trunk so two dollars and 85 cents for both um and they're both going to be 50 storage yeah yeah 50 storage each um as far as like is this how much money we have negative seven dollars Oh, wait, no. There's two cash here. So this is saloon profit or loss. This is how much money we actually have. So we have $600. We're going to go with a trunk because I feel like a barrel is like not appropriate for storage. <laughs> now place the item anywhere in your saloon. An item must be on the floor. Can we actually rotate that, please? How do we rotate? Can we rotate? Uh, Rotate? R. No, no rotate there. Not right click either. Okay. How do we rotate? Toggle. No, we don't want to toggle. Build item. Move item. Delete item. Space bar to rotate? No. Can I just throw it in the corner, I guess, for now? Right. We will continue giving you tips and advice uh, as for as you open new screens and solution or er, situations develop within your character for the town. But you are now free to explore Deadwater Saloon and build the best damn saloon in the Wild West. Right. So we have storage. I get. Oh. Oh. Well, good morning, everybody. <laughs> good morning. It is February 1st of 1840 at 7 in the morning. What do we need to build? That's a great question. Well, I think we need to buy. Uh, not buy. Well, yeah, I guess buy. Build a bar. Now we have structure, utility, entertainment, decor, furniture, and lighting. Wait, was that lighting? No. Oh, the menus go very slow. I see. So utility. Entertainment, decor, furniture. There's a lot of stuff in here. Even for the demo, there's a lot of stuff, and I like to see that. Now, this is what I want. I want structure, because I want to build a room. I think. Do I want to build a room right now? I think I do. Okay, hang on a sec. Can I, like... Oh, I can. Okay, so I can, like, rotate myself. So this is me. Good to see you. You can click on me. I can assign him a gun. This is your character screen. From here, you can manage your stress with coping mechanisms such as alcohol, food, opium. What? The good book or sex? Well, they're very <laughs> blunt about that. <laughs> if you have these items, oh, great. If you have sex as an item in your saloon inventory, you can also assign guns to your character from this. Okay, right. Um, okay, so a good book. Use coping mechanism to lower stress. This is like Bible stuff, right? Bible to use um, or to, uh, to do this. Opiates. You need opium, right, to, to be able to do that. Alcohol, tobacco, and apparently sex with eating. All right. We have no spouse. I guess you can get married in this game. That's really cool. Um, we have no guns. We don't have or we don't own any guns, which probably is a bad idea in the wild, wild west, right? But I do want to kind of dip into this. I do. I do. Now, in my saloon, let's see here, let's see here. Let's go, like, all the way in here. In my saloon. I'm thinking, like, I don't know how, but, like, I would like to go. Yeah, that, that's what I'm exactly talking about. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I would like to go storage room. Okay. 
I would like to go storage room right there. And then let's see if I can buy a... No, no, no. Yeah, the controls are a little bit something I got to get used to here. Let's go ahead and buy a door. Yes. Put the door right there. Okay, is the music a little too loud? So I feel like it's getting louder and louder. Let's bring it down a little bit more. My God. Okay, so we have a store. <sighs> Trapper. A shanty is being constructed right alongside your saloon. It would, be seem, it would seem a roughly clothed trapper. Oh, wait. It would seem a roughly clothed trapper. A true western pathfinder has moved into your town to provide their goods. Be sure to check out their wares. Once they open for business, they tend to sell cheap alcohol and wild game. This is one of the coolest things about this game is like how the town builds around you. You know, that is really cool. It's like an, an everlasting progression, right? So here we go. We have what assumably would be our... Um, our neighbor let's see here this is the business screen from here you can purchase inventory services or other items as well as interact with the owner or even purchase the business outright so we can buy businesses outright oh my god so the person that is here is beatrice this is beatrice cook who is our trapper our relationship with this person is not so good we are very just neutral at the moment now we can interact we can interaction with cooldowns i guess uh sorry the cooldown we can have a camera we can purchase the business, which is kind of crazy. We can bring in liquor and game. So remember, one purchase of like liquor and game is two hundred dollars or two hundred items in a crate. So alcohol for serving, we can purchase this for I guess thirteen dollars, which we will do since there is one available, and we will purchase food. Can we do that? Not enough storage. We need more storage. Okay, I understand now. So we actually have alcohol. Let's that can we interact with this person? So this is the character interaction screen. From here, you are can, you can interact with this character in a variety of ways, including befriending, romancing, proposing. I'm gonna propose to Beatrice, ain't I? More seemingly options include enticing, rob, murder, duel, investigate, blackmail, duel, or sue. Note that the towns, townspeople can be interacted with, uh, but travelers cannot. Okay, very good. So let's see here. Um, rob? No. <laughs> this is crazy, dude. Oh, this is cool. Investigate Sue. Uh, we might have, like, we might be able to, like, look at that. She has, like, a 65% chance of wow. Added to your attributes with successful marriage proposal. I guess she likes the attributes of leadership. Maybe is what, or leadership helps us there. Marrying this person would decrease stress plus four a day. Now, would it really? Are you sure it would, um, it would decrease stress or would it increase stress? <laughs> uh befriend initiate events success raises opinion by 20 percent. action points is required so this is our action point right i'm assuming this is our action point so this you know we can only do so much a day i guess is what that means uh regal 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 I don't, I don't know exactly what that is requires a famous story and action point romance which i'm not interested in right now we're just trying to get uh going here divorce can't legally do that to her um let's go ahead and just befriend so you decide to offer a compliment to Beatrice Cook. Help them with the labor intensive chore. Muscle 10, saver 5 equals 15%. Or inspire them to embrace their natural gifts and realize their full potential. Leadership. Kind of like that. What just happened? Your attempt to be friend has failed. Beatrice now lost more opinion of you. Your stress has increased. So by four. Okay. Has increased. Stress increases from a variety of concerns, including losing money each day. Low down opinion of you, high suspicion of you, debt, low health. Dude, this game is going to be in depth. Freaking in depth. And I absolutely love it. So let's see here. This is the research screen. So now that the trapper has moved into your town, we recommend you research Rot Gut first. <laughs> that does not sound good. Uh, rot Gut? Is that? Oh, that's our brew. That's our uh, brew here. So let's go ahead and research that, I guess. Uh, you could be selling drinks to customers and new businesses move into town. You will need to research a new food and drinks and million in order to sell those items. Okay, that's good to know. So booze and food. So I guess we can sell booze at 10 cents a bottle, I guess, is what that is. Right. Okay, very well. Now, again, we need to kind of come back into this, though. Got to look more into this. Let's pause the game real quick and, you know, kind of get our bearings here. Let's go uh, utility. Is that what we're looking at? Yeah, so we want a bar. Probably not the most expensive bar either. Probably just a cheap bar. Um, 
a mahogany bar. Uh, I think I would like to do. <laughs> and I kind of want to put the bar. I do I want? I wish I knew how to rotate the freaking. Um... Oh, there it is. It's right there in front of you. Rotate is Z or C. Okay, good. I want to put the bar off to the side here, because I think eventually um, I, I could make this a kitchen. Or maybe expand the storage or whatever it might be. Um, so that, that's something. But speaking of storage, we do need to bring in some more storage when it adds some more trunks. Now that we can know how to rotate, we want to rotate that the other way. We can go ahead and rotate. We can actually put these things like very, very close to each other. Probably go the other way with that. My bad. Boom. So how much is that? So 246, that's 600 storage uh, available to us very well now that we have that uh back room shelf what is a back room shelf it's just this more storage it is more storage cool a workbench what does a workbench do bonus item uh minus 20 percent daily upkeep okay safe what does a safe do chance of theft from staff members okay cutting table food rating bonuses sacks storage item to 50 plus that's actually really bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go ahead and look into... I would like to do, like, furniture, possibly. Like, people are going to need a place to sit and drink and all that. So, what about, like, a bar stool? Can we do, like, bar stools? Is that a thing? Like, if I put that there, would that be okay? Will people use that as a bar stool? I'm not sure. But I like the way it looks, regardless. I'm going to go with like the like the the not so fancy, right? The very, very unfancy kind of looking stuff here. The cheap stuff, I guess you could say the cheap stuff. And hopefully that will be good. Let's go there. There. And there. Now, how much money do we have? We still got we still got enough. We still have enough. And then I want the cheapest chair, like a light chair, I guess. Put that right there. Maybe sneak that right there. Do they? They don't. <laughs> they don't really sit next to each other, like on top of each other back in these days, huh? No. That just seems a little weird. There we go. There we go. My guy is just in the way. He's he's being a little inconvenient. I will say. Oops! I did not mean to do that. Here we go. Almost. How much money we got? Four hundred thirty-seven dollars. This person that's building this tap house, man, you can hear it going on. They are doing an incredible job. They are doing the work of Christ over there. And I just wanted to be friends with them. And she did not want to be my friend. Right. Okay. So now, can we actually move our guy? Oh, we can. Oh, good. Oh, wonderful. So, wow, look at the tap house now. So the tap house is up and running. Yes. Let's talk to you. And, oh, my Lord. $18. Now, I wonder if it's $18 now because we pissed her off. <laughs> You know, like she was upset, like what we did. And she's like, you know what? I'm going to charge you more now. F, a new business has been built. So there we go. The business has been built. We can go back to talking to her again and maybe befriend her again. Try to. We can investigate success produce dirt, which can be used for blackmail. Oh my God. These things are going to be so good. A duel, right? <laughs> Could you imagine? You first move in to the town. We duel to see if you stay here. I want to try to befriend the person. I do. I do. Um, right. Let's see what else we have. What is, what is this? This is a new house has been built. Oh, a new house. Daisy Cook and Hitch... Hitch Cook? No, Hitchcock Cook. We have Daisy Cook and Hitchcock Cook, which wealth rating, I guess. Higher the wealth, customers will purchase more expensive food and drinks if they have been researched. Can we talk to these people? Be like, hey, hey, Daisy Cook. Um, you have a good neutral... Would you like to be friends? You decide to offer a compliment to Daisy. I want to say Daisy Duke, but Daisy Cook. Uh, have a deep intellectual conversation. F. But our skill, which is really cool to note, we might have failed, but our skill in what's it called? I forgot what it's actually called. The apps. Ab oh, God. What was it called? Uh, abstraction. Abstraction actually went up. So that, that's good. So even though we're failing what we're doing, we're actually gaining some XP or gaining, gaining some level ups though. That's really cool. So you've run out of action points for the day. Action points are used to interact with townspeople, obviously repair and clear the main road. Look at these sons of guns here. Are those pigs? 
Oh my god. Look at there's Eleanor, Jackie, Stella, and friggin' Eleanor. Wait, I already said Eleanor. Peach. <laughs> Whoops. Um, as the town grows larger, you can increase your action points by purchasing items and services. Some examples of this would be learning how to read schoolhouse and buying a horse livery. Interesting. Uh, what is this? So prospector's boot. Town level one of four. Town opinion minus two. Suspicion uh, zero. Road health ten. Repair road. Clear road. All that. So road penalty none. Road health. Very good. I guess we can like repair if we had action points but we don't need to right now and then what is this no more action points for for the day okay so then we just wait for the next time so you have researched your first menu item if you have not already purchase a crate of liquor from the trapper so that you can start selling drinks to your customers which we have already the only thing is that we're gonna need some staff right we're gonna need a barkeep right we're gonna need to hire a barkeep if we can uh what is this? Hire staff member from town, no imports, or hire staff member from outside of town. Interesting. So we can actually hire a Teddy Donaldson, who would be obviously good for us, but would be, oh my god, daily wage, $5 a day. Cost to import employee to the town would be $85. But we don't have anybody in town to hire, so we have to bring in an outsider, and it's going to cost us a big, big amount of money. So let's go ahead and hire Teddy Donaldson as our first person, and that will be our barkeeper. So there we go. So research has now finished. Uh, and the next thing we need to do is food. Uh, do we do dill pickles or do we do celery? Well, uh, what would I rather have in real life? F celery. No, no shade to anybody that likes celery. I don't know how in the world do you like celery. But I will go with dill pickles if possible. <laughs> uh, so that's good. Okay. Awesome. So that's done. You can see, oh my God, dude, the saloon. So many cool things. This game is just, it's dying with depth here. Like not dying, but like it's its swimming with depth. And I love it. I absolutely, absolutely love it. So the butcher, your more carniv carnivorous customers are sure to welcome the butcher. Having uh, come west seeking opportunity and profit feeding hungry uh, pioneers, they are sure to provide both light and heavy meat. It makes you hungry just thinking about it, unless you're not one of or meat, that is. So we have a new neighbor. That is the um, the butcher. Uh, Patrice, I guess is his name. Patrice. Can we talk? Well, we can't talk. Oh, we can because it is midnight, huh? Yeah, so we have a new action point available for us. Very good. Hello. Butcher's dog. I can buy the dog. Daily stress reduction by two. That's not bad. I have a dog. Heavy meat, light meat. I mean, a pig is not heavy meat. <laughs> it seems like heavy meat, dude. Oh, this is good. All right. <clears throat> right. So even though we don't have... I oh got it so dark. Even though we... D we probably could actually build lighting, yeah? Lighting? Oh, baby. Here we go. I would like to do wall scones. The cheapest wall scones of all time. There we go. There we go. There we go. I guess this gives us plus two refinement too. Which I guess is like, hey, people will, will like it. I, I don't know. How does that look? Still doesn't really light anything up. As, as I mean, it is a freaking candle after all, right? <laughs> um, hmm. A Tiffany lamp? Can we put that on? I, oh, wait, we can actually maybe put stuff on the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lantern on, on the table? On the, can we put a lantern on the bar? Oh, you can! Oh, I'm glad that you can put stuff anywhere, almost anywhere, practically. And then let's do... How big are these candle stands? They're pretty big. Um, let's do, like, tiny candles. Just on the tables. Yeah? There you go. There you go. And there we go. That's not too bad, yeah? That's a nighttime thing. Houses. So households, too. Cook family and the Nelson family. Hannah Nelson, Peggy Nelson, Flora Nelson, Ruby Nelson, Patricia Nelson. A lot of people here. Uh, and if we wanted to, we can click on Hannah and be like, Hey, Hannah, how are you? Um, you're at home. What do you do? Um, you're neutral. Love affair. You know, we can maybe betroth some of these people, right? That'd be kind of cool. That'd be really cool. I dig it. It is getting daytime. I would like to buy some game from you for $18 if that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We haven't seen any customers in yet. 
soon as I say that. Look at this, Teddy. Don oh, that's our guy, Teddy Donaldson. So now that we have our employee at the bar, maybe now then we can start seeing some people uh, visit our saloon. That is the hope, right? That is my hope, at least. In the meantime, we can go ahead and look into the new research. So uh, researched has been done on dill pickles. We can go ahead and do. I know, I know what this is like, but I don't know how to pronounce it very well. Uh, Pemison, Pemison, Pemison. Hopefully, I pronounced that right. But we can do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, booze, uh, fire water. Also, not a bad idea. Probably look into that. Now, will and if are we going to get people in? So let's take a look at our at our salon, our salon here, our town here. So there's our only houses coming through, which is good. A couple of houses there. It looks like we do have a female coming up here. Who is this? No, don't go outside, you madman. Okay, go outside, you madman. Okay, go back inside. Christ, I haven't been laid in a blue moon. That's the first thing she said. Never met the woman, but my God, she is looking for something spicy that my guy possibly could deliver but fail miserably at. Okay. Again, we have two action points here. Let's see here. A new business has been built. We should know about that. We already know about the butcher. Um, townspeople. We're getting a lot more townspeople as they come in. Opinion is not so good on most of them, but Daisy Cook is okay, I guess. Um, yeah, let's talk to Daisy Cook. So, oh, look at this. February 1st of 1840, you failed to befriend Daisy Cook. That's kind of cool, though. That's cool to know. Um, I, I still want to do it again. <laughs> I do. Manipulate them to make them think, uh, think you like them. Sneakiness. Ah. Yeah, we have to go with our strengths. Damn it. But our sneakiness did go up. <laughs> but they're probably very offended about that. Uh, low town population. That's not good. How's our population? So Prospector's Boot, which is the name of our town. Um, yeah, our town opinion is not looking so hot. And now one thing uh, it did say about action points is if we bought, I guess you could say, what was it? Uh, was it, I guess, in utility it could be? Bedroom shelf? No. Um, schoolhouse. Oh, I think it's if we unlock the schoolhouse, then we get that. You know, entertainment. A dartboard would be cool, right? A piano, we have to hire a pianist. Now, a dartboard, we don't need staff for it. And I'm going to go for it. We're going to add... A dartboard for entertainment hopefully hopefully that brings people here you know bam we have entertainment ladies and gentlemen come down here and throw some darts at a board and have a drink on me i, I don't know i have no idea uh decor probably something that people would really appreciate also but my god we are spending way too much money more than i would like a bed we don't need that what the heck is this a spittoon maybe something to spit in that's disgusting I refuse to have that. <laughs> I refuse. A hat hanger. Um, I mean, yeah, let's do a hat hanger, I guess, on both sides in case you need to come in and hang your hat. Uh, a cow skull. I mean, that really makes it all Western now, does it? A sign that says saloon. A sign that says, you guess where the hell you're at? Oh, you guessed it correctly. No, we don't need that. <laughs> um... A poster, a wanted poster. I mean, we all like to have wanted posters, you know, behind the uh, behind the the bar there. Makes sense. Um, let's see here. A nice long rug. It's like almost like snakeskin rug. Like a nice rug as you walk in. No, that's that. No, we don't do that. That's stupid. Our stress. Oh, 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 oh! This is the lady that wants to get laid. Guess I don't know what the... That's Trixie, dude. Trixie? Okay. Remember Trixie. She's a very spicy lady. Let's fast forward the time here a little bit. We've not had a single customer. Not one damn customer. I would like to research my fire water once we're done researching Pemison. Again, don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Now, is there a way to boost our population? Like, can we... Uh... <laughs> can we do marketing? <laughs> doubt it um houses i mean getting to know the folks is probably like the best thing that you could do i want to use this last action point hang on a sec let's actually slow down time a little bit 
I want to use this last action point. I, I think actually when I'm in that, it does slow down time or it stops time. I want to use this last, last action point to possibly get something done here. So let's go with... Let's go with Flora, I guess. Flora Nelson. She has a high opinion about us. Um, let's try to... Um, I don't know. Let's try to... I don't want to be like the bad guy right off the bat. Like, I don't want to like rob somebody. I don't want to investigate somebody, you know? Requires a what? A action point blackmail. Okay. Let's just befriend them. You decide to offer a compliment to Flora. Chum with them about the growing markets out east. Finance 20. Save your fare. Uh, either one of these, it's going to be bad. So let's just chum. Yeah. Uh, finances did go up, though. But our opinion is, once again, lower. I need some loving. People are, like, not wanting my booze. They want the prostitution. No. This is not how I run a business. It's not how I start a business. I'm not here to do a prostitution off the bat. I'm here to sell you some damn alcohol. What is wrong with you people? Research. Am I done? Yeah, I'm done researching. Let's get the fire water in now. Are you kidding me? Everybody's upset. Everybody's upset that I don't have a mattress for them to come and get it on. On. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Floor toggle? Okay, so there's going to be upstairs that we could do in the future. I don't think we can do in the devil. Right. Okay. Um, what else is happening here? So, is there anything else happening in down? Oh, look. Look at this person. I bet you she's going to want to get laid, too. Why is it the she's that are, that are saying this? Wait, wait, what does it say? Not a game to be, wait, wait. Not a game to be seen air anywhere? That's, that's not true. Because we do have, um... Yeah, slow down time. We do have dartboards rolling through here. Now, there's another person coming up here. This is, this is a gentleman with a cowboy hat. <gasps> Yo. Rock gut. We have rock gut. Yes, yes, yes. We have one patron. Did you hear that? That was like a train place bets on okay so we're getting negative opinion because we don't have blackjack okay all right well that's one of the things it's not like fully gambling table let's give them a gambling table let's do it dude give them the game oh god it's dark again i need just more lights this this sir here just bought i think he bought pestament and a rock gut can we actually talk to this guy woman person who is this Eating game. Okay, we can't technically do that. Now, their wealth, look at their wealth, it's actually four. Uh, yeah, they bought a rot gut for 12 cents and a pessimist. Pessimist, I don't think I am saying that right. Oh my god, now that I'm thinking about it. Pemmican, pemmican? <laughs> for 78 cents. First customer, oh, just get me some rot. Oh, dude, there we go. Hey, now we got two people coming in. Rock on, dude! Hey, two people coming in, two people getting served, two people loving it. Now, bad thing here, stress obviously sucks. Now, the good thing about back in the West is that they didn't just buy one beer and go. They didn't buy one meal and go. They bought multiple beers, and they drank until they their boots fell off, right? So, there's room for multiple profits there. Holy crap, a general store. A new business has come to your town offering a gun for sale. You should purchase a gun and arm yourself from the character screen. Having a gun will come in handy for certain events where firepower is required. As well, clearing the road of obstructions will also sometimes require firepower. As more businesses come into town, they will offer better weapons for sale. So it was only a matter of time before the town gained a general store. And at last, it has arrived. Sure to provide wares such as coffee, cigars, whiskey, and firearms. No matter how you look at it, the general store is an economic cornerstone for a growing town, along with your saloon, of course. So that's good. What the heck is going on here? You're noticeably tense from all the stress. It might be a good time to take a load off that or turn to one of your vices. Interesting. Interesting. So take a load off. I would like to eat. <laughs> let me eat let me eat again let me don't eat again okay right um so let's go over to the general store here so this is flora 
Oh, so Flora is actually the one that um that wanted that that built the general sword. Now, if I wanted to purchase this, you're willing to sell it for nine hundred and sixty dollars? Like, obviously, forget it because I can't purchase it. But that's good to know. Now, hang on a sec. I want to see how much are you selling your place for? Two thousand dollars. Two. Th okay, so the general sword is actually the cheapest of the cheap. The Derringer, hopefully I pronounced that right. The Derringer, $3. We will purchase that. Increases firepower rating to 2. Go ahead and buy that. I would like to buy coffee as well. Not enough action points. And I would like to buy cigars and whiskey as time goes on. So as more things come in, more menu options, more people will be able to come in, right? I mean, obviously they'll be able to come in, but they'll be able to do, to do their thing. Let's go ahead and assign him to the new gun that we just got. Very well, and I don't know if I can assign our Teddy Donaldson, right? Our what the heck, dude? Our love, he loves us to death. We can we can do a proposal. <laughs> we can absolutely do a proposal. All right, let's fast forward our time here. Let's see where our research does line here. How's our booze? We can do the tangle leg now, which I'm gonna do. We're gonna be doing the tangle leg, tangle, tangle, tangle leg. Our daily profits is only like minus 12, which isn't too bad. It's not too bad in, in, at all. Now, we did, we don't have any action points to really kind of go through here. We are getting more townspeople as we go on. This game is so cool, dude. <laughs> I absolutely dig it. Oh, fire water. Yes, I'm dying for fire water. Ah, for Christ's sakes, Edwin, or whoever the heck, Edwin Brown, he said, Christ's sakes. Some whiskey, if you'd be so kind. I don't think I have whiskey. I put those chairs in wrong. This is awkward. <laughs> Whatever, it works, though. Please, sir, may I have some fire water? Now, what is going on here? Minus 2% of our town's opinion, right? So an individual character, individual opinion, affects prices of goods and sold to characters, chance of townspeople becoming customers, events, and chances of being run out of town. So our, our reputation is not so good as of right now. But maybe if they spend a little bit of time in our saloon, maybe they will like it overall. Yes, yes, yes. Now we're starting to sell stuff here. This is exciting. This is great. Um, we are now at midnight, so I do have my action points kind of reset here. So let's let's bring in some. Let's bring in some cigars. Let's bring in some whiskey. Can I bring in whiskey? Not enough storage. Yeah. Two, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Let's buy a little bit more storage here. Utility. Yeah, utility. I mean, I, I mean like, now, like, thinking about it, like, this trunk idea here, it, unless I can stack these sons of guns, which I doubt it, and I can't, uh, they do take a lot of room, probably compared to a, uh, a, um, whatchamajigger, a, a keg or a barrel. Sorry, a barrel. Yeah, look at that. Way less room to take over there. Okay, so that has been done. Let's go back to the general sword. Let's buy whiskey. Huh? I have seven. Oh, 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 wait, how much did that give off? Oh, that only gives off 50. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, well, that's all right. Uh, we'll go backroom shelf, which gives us 200. And we can actually put the backroom shelf kind of like right here behind the bar it doesn't look too um it doesn't look too out of place like if you had like a bunch of whiskey bottles or whatever sitting here not too out of place there we go we'll do that and then we will buy our whiskey and uh, i don't think i can buy anything else right 200 no i need to buy more storage if i want to do that but we now wait do we need to do the research on that to serve whiskey or can we serve it no no problem probably can serve it no problem Go to food and let's research oh wait we're still researching the tangle leg never mind never mind never mind f what i was saying um let's go to that gives us storage to the bar it does hmm back bar oh that's what i'm looking for is a back bar oh the drink rating goes up oh and the refinement oh the back bar that's where it's at Oh, that is that. That is absolutely where is that. Oh my God, my life has changed. Now I really wish I would have done that before, but that's fine. Again, this is the demo. Like, no, don't you know? Don't stress about it too much, right? Don't stress about it too much. Cooking items, staff required. Building a kitchen off to the right here, kind of. 
probably wouldn't want to be a bad idea as well. So if we put like a little stove there and we'll, we'll bring in a staff because we need to have a staff member to, member to run it. It is kind of like getting a little out of hand, right? Like what we're doing. Let's go back to the backroom shelf here. The backroom shelf probably would be better anyways. There we go. And then let's go ahead if we can, which we probably can buy some cigars and hopefully having cigars in will make everything did i buy two cigars or did we get 400 for that that's all right it's fine whatever it is it's fine i don't want to buy anything else now <laughs> i want to see how our profits kind of go through uh, oh look at that 10 cents for a cigar oh that's good oh that's really good how's our reputation Okay, reputation just went down. That lady just asked and gave me a negative opinion on the saloon because she said, where are the whores? Look, lady, you're not getting it right now. And I think I put this in backwards. <laughs> I did not put this in backwards. It just looked like it there for a sec. There you go. Why are they so obsessed over the prostitution in this game? Like, don't give me a negative score because I don't have prostitution. Don't give me that. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, green tiles are, are the, the access tool. Green tiles mean the floor is available for customers to stand in. Red means an area you have designated for as for not. So like kitchen, your bedroom, storage rooms, or anywhere or else. Oh, can I do that? How do we do that? Oh. Yeah, so customers cannot go they are not allowed to go over here sorry and oh, shoot and customers are not allowed to go in there there we go and honestly customers are not allowed to go right there cool you can actually make access area that's neat actually let's go ahead and face that oh i love that i dig it i dig it i dig it i dig it customer access love it cool I wish the game would have told me that before, but that's all right. Fire water there. Want to see some fire water. Now, the question is, how are we going to get our uh, town reputation up? I would like to think that, I guess the more that we sell, the better. Research, nothing is being researched. Let's actually fix that. We want to do roast jackrabbit. Yeah, get that going on. But so far, so good. This game is pretty cool. <laughs> this game is really cool. Uh, let's buy coffee, I guess. Would that make people happy if I bought coffee? Let's buy coffee. Give the people an option to have a nice cup of coffee, right? Cup of coffee, cup of whiskey. Maybe mix the whiskey and the or the Irish whiskey and the coffee. I don't know what the heck that's called. Isn't that called something or something like cream or I don't know. <laughs> I think that's called something, right? I don't know. A cold Irish or I maybe I'm thinking wrong. I don't know. You probably know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, I, you know what? This is probably going to do it right here, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for the Let's Look At of Deadwater Saloon. This game is really cool, and I really, really dig it. And this game is probably going to come to the channel when it is released. It probably is. It's a very nice game. It's a very cool game, and I'm very excited to play this game in the future. So much. Uh-oh. Ruby Nelson is approaching up the road. Stop and chat. Nod back as you walk by. Take a sharp turn between two buildings to avoid them. Ruby? No, that's like nod as leadership. You nod, but they do they do not respond. F. Yeah, but um. Yeah, this is a game you definitely should check out. Um. Add it to your wish list. Like, this is gonna be a good time. I I absolutely, absolutely like believe gonna be a great time anyways guys this is gonna be it thank you all so much for stopping by and hanging out with me and checking out this game for today and let's look at of deadwater saloon um it's been a pleasure to be with you here today and i hope you guys have a good rest of your day evening morning afternoon wherever you may be and i will see you guys in the next video do as always take care hey.